a shocking love affair, behind-the-scenes drama, or something even more sinister. Here is why Vivian Lee hated kissing Clark Gable in Gone with the Wind. Hollywood stars are often so good at immersing themselves in their roles that it's difficult to imagine that there is anything other than pure chemistry between on-screen lovers. But it's certainly not always the case. Whether it is mutual dislike between actors, or the frustration one actor feels about another's on-set behavior, those who are talented at their craft perform so well that not a trace of that spitefulness is ever translated to the screen. This phenomenon isn't anything new to Hollywood, and there are countless examples of on-screen couples who never got along when the cameras weren't rolling. Who could ever imagine that William Frawley and Vivian Vance hated each other in real life? Or that there was a long-running feud between comedy legends Bud Abbott and Lou Costello? Even some of Hollywood's finest classics featured couples that weren't exactly thrilled about each other in real life. In fact, Gone with the Wind serves as perhaps the most famous example of love interests who were anything but smitten in real life. It just goes to show you that, no matter how attractive a star might be, there can be good reasons why another actor might not be thrilled about on-screen embraces or stage kisses. By her account, Vivian Lee had good reason to hate kissing her co-star, Clark Gable. The casting of Vivian Lee as Scarlett O'Hara shocked the film industry. Virtually unknown in the United States, the British stage actress, who would later be cemented into Hollywood history as the leading lady in one of its most iconic films, actors from Joan Crawford to Lucille Ball to Katherine Hepburn all eyed the part. Even even Clark's future wife, Carol Lombard, was up for it at one point, but Lee won out over all of them. Some might assume the tension between Lee and Gable had something to do with the former's infamous love affairs. Two years before Gone with the Wind began its long production, Lee had fallen in love with screen legend Laurence Olivier, whom she had met while filming Fire over England. The affair between Olivier and Lee was problematic, given that each was married to another person at the time. Olivier had tied the knot with actress Jill Esmond in 1990. And Lee was married to actor Herbert Lee. But it was not the off screen drama that made Kissing Gable one of the more dreaded parts of her role in Gone with the Wind. No, it was much simpler than that. Lee recoiled with disgust because of Gable's awful breath. Several years before filming Gone with the Wind, Gable had developed a serious gum infection that led to the removal of his teeth. While he was working on the set of the 1933 film Dancing Lady, the star was forced to undergo oral surgery that delayed the production. Once healed and fitted with dentures, Gable found himself plagued with a severe case of halitosis. Worse still, Gable inhaled a great number of cigarettes throughout the day, exacerbating his bad breath. Though numerous actresses who shared romantic screen time with him commented on his terrible mouth odor, you'd never have guessed that Lee took issue with Gable's horrid breath on the set of the movie that vaulted her to stardom. She was just that good of an actress. Of her time with Gable on the Gone with the Wind set, Lee once remarked, Kissing Clark Gable in Gone with the Wind was not that exciting. His dentures smelled something awful. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Despite her disgust at the prospect of kissing Gable, there is no debating the quality of their chemistry on the screen. Indeed, this iconic kiss between the two went on to become one of the most famous moments in movie history. Of course, considering what we now know about her feelings toward Gable's breath, it's clear that even more went into her Academy Award-winning performance than meets the eye.